Tough day here, Reg, as uh, try to trudge through this with the passing of Jerry West. And, of course, uh, I know you had many uh, encounters, conversations, uh, if you'd like to share. Yeah, I think I will start from the beginning and kind of go through the many times I've had the honor of just being in his presence. And it, it started at an early age for me when I was at UCLA, um, getting phone calls from Jerry West. Now, again, I'm you know, 19, 20 years old. And remember those, you know, UCLA um, pro basketball pickup games that we would have at UCLA. Um, he would always be around because at that time he was somewhat the architect of those Laker teams, those Showtime Laker teams. And just getting phone calls from him, watching my game saying, well, you should think about doing this. I would have done that work on this. I mean, this is, you know, 19, 20 year old Reggie. Um, and then once I made it to the league, Arn Tellum, who was my agent attorney at the time, good friends with Jerry West. Um, we would have not only conversations, but meetups. I had a chance to interview him a few times when I had my own little local, sh uh, local show in, in Indiana. Um, and just to talk basketball, um, because his he had such a brilliant brilliant basketball mind he was always two or three steps ahead um so being a shooting guard and growing up in los angeles growing up in california riverside but watching the lakers and knowing the history of jerry west um i was like a kid in a candy store i hung on every word he said to me and have a chance to interview him and to get tips from him i was like a I was a kid in a candy store. You couldn't tell me anything. Um, and our, our real last encounter, because working with Turner, every time we would come do the Laker games or the Clipper games, when he was working with the Clippers at the time, um, we got a chance to pick his brain. As soon as I walked into Staples, he was there. He would give me a, a scouting report, not only on his own team, <laughs> because he never held anything back. He never held anything back, even on his own team. He would give me scouting reports uh, on the Lakers, the Clippers, and who they were playing. Um, that's how advanced he was. And, um, you know, we have a term here in California right now. We're in June gloom. I know you can't see outside, but it's very misty, cloudy, ugly. And it's one of those days where when something like this happens, you know, it, it's, it's June gloom when you think about the loss. Just think about this. Two years ago, it was Bill Russell. Less than a month ago, Bill Walton. This is another huge gut blow. And it's a little bit more personal for me because I've, you know, I've had a, a relationship with Jerry West. And when Kobe passed, I don't know if you guys remember that show, we were supposed to air a Laker game. And remember when we did that special at Staples yeah. on the day it was Charles, Shaq, Ernie, myself, Dwayne Wade, and Jerry West. And I think this was the most raw I've ever seen Mr. West in terms of talking about Kobe and their relationships because they were very close as well. Um, we were, like in the back and before, we were just all bawling, listening to Mr. West describe Kobe. So I'm sorry to be long winded, but I, I want to give Mr. West the proper, the proper due he he's earned and deserved. Yeah. I said earlier that it's not overstating this when he's probably the most impactful person in the history of the NBA. When you look at the player coach GM, the logo, and yeah. you know, you've been doing it, you know, he had been doing it at a very high level for, you know, seven decades. And that says an awful lot about, you know, what he does, how he does it, how he did it, and uh, passing away at the age of 86.